what we're going to do is, because we found a lot of the perspex of the canopy, yeah. we're going to have one half with pieces of the broken original perspex yeah. and try and fit it out with new perspex on the other side so you can so yeah. people can get a view of it yeah. and put it in our museum here, which we've got a new building and it's going to look great. What about the windscreen? Was it still there? No, would that have been perspex as well? Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get some more information about the, that. The frame of the, of the windscreen, not there. Not the small part, no. That last house you've got, mm -hmm. there should be two pieces there, or three, three pieces. Three, yeah. Yeah, well... A centre the, section and they the all go into it. The that went forward, it went forward and joined up with the windscreen. Yeah, that's how it looks in the photos, but yeah. there's no sign. We may have a couple of pieces of the upright struts. Yeah. Most of it would be gone. See, the, the tides have been over for all those years. Yeah. You don't know what have. metal they would have used in the aircraft? Um, Chrome molybdenum? Uh, Some parts that have weathered really well, like you can still see serial numbers on them, and 60 years of salt has done nothing to them. Yeah. Compared to steel, which has yeah. just gone. Yeah, well, some of that uh, alloy stuff was, it was treated, I forget what they called it now, the treatment, and that that was good, anti-corrosive, yep. but if it had a crack in it yeah. from impact, then the water went straight in there and ate all the metal out, and all you have from the inside. Nice the beach, you pick it up and it go to nothing. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah no, well, we didn't take that. I'm sure it'll be documented somewhere. We'll find out. I want to ring a few of the people who are putting them together. They'll be the best source of info, I'd imagine. Well, now, there's a, there's a mob at, uh, at Kabulcha Airfield. I don't know what they call themselves, but they've got an air museum. And they've got a Wirraway flying. You can go and buy yeah. a flight in it. I've actually got a list of all of the, the ones that are flying and the ones yeah. that are being put together. Yeah. So it's good because there's names associated with the people and I'll yes. be able to make some contacts. Yeah, well, that uh, one there, I've seen it flying. When we, in 1985, I think it was, no, 95, 50th anniversary of the end of the war. Yep. They had a fairly big thing in Townsville. My mate Dave Harrison from, from down in New South Wales, he came up for it. We went down there and amongst the things to be done was dinner at uh, the 24 Squadron. Well, we went, but there was no one of our time there. Then they had a, a dedication ceremony to a, a bloke who was killed in 1941 when when 24 Squadron was in town so before it went to Rabaul, and this bloke, uh, oh, I just figured an aerial collision, I think, and this uh, fellow, backseat man, the observer, uh, I can't think of his name now, uh, he was killed. Well, there was a memorial to him being dedicated, and, and we went to that. It was out near the near the dam, so we we're sitting around there and the uh, priest who was giving the sermon was a, his people have got a, a big family of them here, got cane farms in this area. I know all his uncles, his father and his uncles and that. So while we were, they were going on this, all of a sudden you could pick up this noise and they give Dave a nudge and we looked around and a bloody were awake. She come round and did a nice gentle turn around the the thing while the priest was giving the dedication service oh, and the way she went. Yeah, would be yeah. good. Quite impressive. I believe the early version didn't have retractable wheels. Oh, that was not a worry. The uh, Yanks, the Canadians, I think, or the British called it a Harvard. Mm -hmm. Harvard trainer. Yeah, yep. but the the Yanks, uh, it was an AT6, Advanced Trainer 6, uh -huh. and they had varying names for it. The Army called it a Texan, I think, 
and the Navy called it something else. It was only a two-bladed prop, uh -huh. smaller motor, a fixed undercut. So the one you had is a three-blade? Yeah, but okay. they sent a couple of those things out here. I saw two, I think, of the Harvard, but there's quite a few Harvards flying now. Yeah. They built the Wurraway, this Wackham. Oh, I can't think of his first name, Sir Somebody Wackham. He designed this thing and he used essentially the, the, the frame of that Harvard. Yep. But he built it up. They put a bigger motor in it to put a three bladed prop on it. And they put it under a, a retractable undercart and armament. I guess it was a good thing that it did have retractable wheels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah.